Hi everyone. I'm, I am finally back to creating something. This is my latest creation. I've been out for a while getting myself together in school and everything. We're finally a little bit settled in so I'm back ready to video. I made this um, vintage little girl because I think this is like probably my favorite image of all the vintage images I've seen out there. I think she is adorable so I decided to make a big junk journal out of it. Um, this is file folder that I um, distressed and made to look like leather. Um, I tried to do Paula Lemon's um, version. Oh my gosh, did I mess that up? But I'll try again. This is my own way where I have to put in some uh, distress work and I have to kind of use all shades of brown. And this is craft cardstock. And that's my version of trying to make it look leather. I, I can't figure out the other way yet, but I will. Um, this is a flower I made, handmade out of my daughter's dress. This doily I bought. I don't know where this antique looking button came from. But uh, when I was finding this image, for some reason, I was messing with like my editing software. And I decided to make the background uh, with like a bit of a greenish tint rather than black and white. Uh, her face is not green, but it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of in the background of it or something. I don't know. It just looks vintage without being black and white. I want it to look a little bit more earthy, earth tones. So I decided to go. I like, I actually like it. I actually like it. I think it's adorable and it matches like all my um, papers in the inside. So I just did the hitch post fastener, but like my first page I use green I love this trim this is my favorite trim and I kind of put in this one underneath because I wanted to bring out some of the pinks in the vintage uh, papers that I used I use like pinks and greens throughout so I wanted that to go I was going for that earth tone like type look I think that's my favorite because it kind of goes with grunge with my grunge look so here's the inside that just looks and feels so much like leather I love it and then um, these I just made out of paper and backed it with coffee um, coffee dyed paper trimmed it with some lace did a little belly band out of this stretchy lace material uh, lace kind of ribbon and these are just like the off cuts of my long little notepad that I love to use I had this left over from so long ago when I made that sewing when I made the sewing journal and since it was vintage I just decided to use it and if this was my journal I would write all on top of this because those lines are like burnt in from my stove so if I were keeping it that's why I like those because I would write right on the on top of those lines this is like a little glassine bag um, just extra off cut of paper that I put inside and I cut the glassine bag down I love these because they're like craft colored and I don't know, they look like those cookies you buy when you buy, when you buy cookies. I think I bought this off Etsy. And then that's just a coffee dyed index card with my little, just a little note on it. Love that. I think this is Seven Gypsies maybe. A lot of this stuff I got from that big Candace Scarborough D stash. So I got a lot of ephemera from her. I mean, that box is loaded. I did some stenciling. I had lace trims, everything. It's probably this came from there. It's the book page with her. I love that. I tried to put her throughout, and that's a napkin. My Podge onto the book page, and she matches. She matches her. I love it. Love it. Love it. There's my pad, and these are like the off cuts. I use these to make my flip ups also. A lot of stitching throughout, stitching and lace this vintage with that vintage look remember I don't have my glasses on Something. remember when I think and then these have lines on them you can with vintage gun this I just printed off the internet I love vintage and then I backed it with a little index card so you could write on it belly band 
with some vintage paper. This, see, I got that in that Candace Scarborough D stash. She gave me a whole bunch of these. I don't know what it is, just vintage. I don't know. But I love it. Don't worry, be happy. I better not take out all these big tags, but I love them. I got my inspiration for that from, from Linda. These big, beautiful tags with the um, scalloped edge or topper. Then I like these. These been the latest craze. Little envelopes. Secret journaling. I made another one. It's a bigger one. All the lemon line, lines and uh, her inspiration for the envelopes. This is, I think this is my last note card. I loved using these because when I copied out them, they were so pretty. Get you on some lace. And here too. This is a uh, Tata Dreams. I just inked the back. Denise just um, tag. This is Yvonne's. I didn't do anything to hers. I just left, left that from her. Um, I always forget the paper stack I got this from. But it's some vintage paper, scrapbook type paper, and it has all the little cards that you can cut out. This is a little. This goes with like the front cover, and it's an altered um, paper clip. Seven Gypsies, just a little tough spot. I love her. She's very vintage looking, also. She's on. I glued her onto an envelope. You can put something in there, stitched all around the envelope. It's just a big doily from Denise's store. I love these. These I got from Crafty Irene, I think, in some swap. I think. Or it could have been Candace's D stash. I'm just not sure. This I got from her Melinda. She made these beautiful tags in the swap. This is um napkin, Mod Podge napkin. And then I just made like or whatever write on it I don't care you know whatever you want to put just extra scraps she's adorable there's that flip up and I use that paper because it already has lines I love this penciling I got these from her Melinda too these little ultra tags and I put it I sewed it into the signature I made this um, little envelope I guess you can say it's from Patricia or maybe Sagita, wherever. That's my inspiration for those. I love it. It's so cute. And then I just stuck a little mason jar, put some lace around it, altar tag. It was seven gypsies for journaling. There's another big tag. So pretty. I like the stamping on it. is for Cherish, like the title is Cherish, so I tried to put that in there, big doily, other part of that envelope, up with one in there, make each day a story worth telling, um, I did a little altered paper clip, little vintage lace right there, score those cards, belly band, Stamping came out beautiful. I'm working on the stamping. Um, these are what? Uh, Marion Smith. The story. I love grunge. This is so grungy. And I think uh, I always have to have one stuck without fail. That's just a little... Um, index card that I coffee dyed. It's a small one that I use for journaling, especially on these um, papers where you can't really write on them. But I always manage to get one stuck. So if I tore it, I'll replace it. I have tons of this. This I got from Seven Gypsies, like the ephemera pack. This is old. I don't know when. A long time ago I got it with this Seven Gypsies envelope. But I know I got this in Candace's D stash. Or, yeah, I think it's either Seven Gypsies or Tim Holtz, something. I don't know, it was just a whole box of goodies. 
can tuck some paper under there or just do hid, hidden journal. It's also stitched. And then we got the little something. That's my own stamping lines on the back. Coffee dyed tickets. There's my again. Just a little note with a tsunami rose little book card. Here's another envelope I made. I love these. They're so vintage. I made it so grungy. I made stamp this little card after I finished the video. I did one of these that I've been seeing. Those are cute. I need to do some more filling some of these empty spaces, but I'll leave that to whoever purchases this journal. This journal will be on sale. I already put it up for anybody that watches this video. It's already on my Etsy shop. That's a um, decoupage and napkin that I'm modifying on with some, some vintage lace. I tried to keep using the little curly haired girls. Curly haired girls. More little paper. Paper I just added lines to on the bag. I think this is coming to the end. Like her. lines on the back. Tuck it back into the belly band. And that is it. That is all. I think this is super adorable. I really do like how it came out because I love this image. Don't be surprised if I make another one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm so happy to be crafting again. Bye-bye.